Hi. <coughs> How many times it has ever uh, happened that the, that uh, the thought of surfing anonymously has come to your mind? Now, when you Google uh, and ask the question, "How to surf anonymously on the net?" Uh, how many results do you get? How to surf anonymously? You get lacks of results. So here, how to surf anonymously on the internet? You get more. Yeah. So the figure has increased. Uh, there is a plethora of options actually. When you go down, you search here and there. You see Tor. You see um, uh, anonymous OS. You get so many other tales. You know, OS is there. So where and you have got a plethora of options actually. And recently I came across this uh, another option, Hunix. I've never heard of it, but it is an old. Uh, seems to be um, operating system. wherein you uh, see from the website it has got two machines inside uh, the virtual box and uh, this is uh, what it says here that it is a anonymous general purpose operating system based on virtual box and to download you simply click download here and you reach somewhere and you click download and you go to download honix from 0.56 from source forge and this is the page so this is the uh, downloading page so uh, this much i have already done so i have done my bit 1.3 gb total is about 1.8 gb of the machine that works so but at the end of it when uh, the as per the technical design it says there is no way that you can be caught So I'll give you a demonstration that there is a small difference uh, when we install uh, Honix. When um, so instead of new, that's the basic way that we generally install virtual machines. It is file import appliance, and you open the appliance, go to the place where it is Honix, and then first there are two uh, appliance format OVA and OVF. So first of all, it it is a gateway that you have to Uh, install next import take about 30 seconds so now after you do this uh, this gets imported uh, let the default settings remain as they come on your screen uh, so whatever is there just what the car so let it be like what it was already okay now do import appliance again reach the same place where you got it from and then now you do honix workstation now this is a slightly bigger file so it will take some time about 2 3 maybe 2 minutes so i'll wait for this importing virtual disk image so uh in case of uh, let's see about uh, the other operating system that they claim they are anonymous uh the thing is anonymous os i have used tails again it is simply a iso image that you download and uh, but they have to be run from the physical drive they in case you run it from the uh, uh the virtual box then the purpose is not solved and you need to be uh, running it from uh, the physical drive but not in this case this particular honix gateway is actually designed for virtual box so now you see here honix gateway and honix workstation so first of all start with the honix gateway again not much of time take the default next okay yeah so here it is now you start this this will again uh next slowly you will get the gui and uh, let 
to it's running. It'll take uh, this message will come. It'll take about two three minutes to reach <coughs> to the thing. So that's it. So in case of Phoenix Gateway and Phoenix Workstation, you basically serve the internet through a gateway, which is again virtual. Now this is the screen which is coming here and checking time, synchronization, etc. So beautiful sound. Is it beautiful? Just joking. So it'll take about two three minutes and then you are ready to surf. So you reach some kind of a thing like uh, what you used to get in Tor. So it'll take some time to uh, connect to the Tor. So that's it. Simple to install. Only take only thing is takes time to download 1.8 GB. That's it. Thank you so much.